Today I'll teach you how to add a glow effect to your thumbnails. Some of you ask me to make thumbnail related tutorials so consider this video a part 1 of a long series. Make sure to stay subscribed for more. But anyways I have this PNG subject layer and what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna make a new layer. Ok now make sure the foreground color is set to black. Then with the new layer selected hit alt and the backspace keys at the same time. Then change its blend mode to screen instead of normal. After that click on this button. And then click on gradient map. While this new layer is selected, click this button to make a clipping mask. Just follow along and you will see why we did all of this. Now click this. While holding alt, drag the left arrow to make a new color. And now you can choose a color of your choice, for example a blue color. Let's move this around a bit and click ok. Now select the layer that's underneath and make the foreground color white. Activate the brush tool, make sure the flow is around 60% and the size around 30. And then start drawing line edges around your subject. You can always resize the brush to not go over the edges too much. Eventually. So I painted around the subject but as you can see, my work is not perfect. I was rushing the process too much but you can always take your time and try to be more accurate than me, especially when dealing with the hair and stuff. Here's how to make the edges a lot smoother though. Right click that layer and click on convert to smart object. Now go to the filter menu, expand stylize and then oil paint. Drag all of these sliders to the right side and hit ok. Now we'll add some glow to the background as well. So to do that make a new layer and place it underneath the subject and on top of the background layer. Then select the brush tool again and make its size very big. Click on the color panel. And with the eyedropper tool, click on the glow color. That way all the colors that we have are matched. And basically paint around the center. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And feel free to watch this next tutorial.